welcome to my channel my name is wolo i want to say a very very big thank you to everyone who has seen my videos the year is still fresh and a lot has been happening some bad some good and well we just pray that the world doesn't go into something that we are not praying for you know there's been so much anxiety and tension but we pray that everything just pass away so that we can go back to our normal lives without um, being anxious on if there's going to be a war or nothing if there's going to be a war with between iran and the united states and whatever we don't pray for such we are just praying for peace all over the world and um, we hope that these issues are quickly resolved as fast as possible yeah so today's video was not what i actually planned but um because it is fresh and you know a fresh information um it's very important to let everybody know so that people can take advantage of it so that you're not um you know you don't lose out on the opportunity as it is right now so in my last video when i talked about recruiters going to poland ukraine netherlands and belgium people are saying they don't come to africa they don't come to africa but the good news now is that new brunswick will be going to africa and they have updated their website and i'm going to show you shortly on their website the occupations they need they will be um, conducting recruitment events in Côte d'Ivoire, Senegal, and Morocco. They will also be um, doing information sessions for some occupations like finance, trades, and IT. They have about nine occupations in IT that was listed on their website. So anybody who is an IT person, and if you see your occupation on that list, try as much as possible to attend the information session and of course um senegal and Côte d'Ivoire is visa free so you cannot give an excuse to say oh you cannot attend these countries are visa free as long as you have your passport you can actually upload your information on the portal and keep your fingers crossed let them invite you to attend the information session and once you attend the information session there is every possibility of you know um, applying for a provincial nomination and going to new brunswick under new brunswick provincial nomination if you have an express entry profile it's also okay which is even good for you um, so you can get a nomination through your express entry profile directly from new brunswick so you don't have an excuse this time around they are coming to africa and i am happy that they are going to africa and three countries were selected for this purpose. Um, one thing you should also know is that New Brunswick is a bilingual province. So they will be giving preference to people who are bilingual. But that does not mean that you, you should restrict yourself. Go ahead and apply and just hope for the best. They can invite you to attend the information session. Especially if they see that your resume is very um, good and they need you um, and that's one thing a lot of people have been asking for if you need me to refer you to someone that can write your resume for you the canadian standard i can refer you to the person and um, you get a canadian standard resume or you watch my video on canadian resumes i've done um, two videos on canadian resume and just you know learn how to create your resume yourself um, so I'll be showing you shortly on our website what you should do and how you should apply. To get started, you go to the website www.welcomenb.ca and click on recruitment events. It will take you to the page where you find the information on all the countries they intend to visit. I had earlier done a video for Poland, Ukraine, Belgium, Netherlands and this time around they've added morocco ivory coast and senegal so they have recruitment events in morocco and an information session as well they also have a recruitment event in abidjan ivory coast and information session as well then they also have a recruitment event in senegal and 
an information session as well if you click on the sign up for casablanca morocco these are the occupations they are looking for to recruit in morocco they are looking for nurse aid looking for cooks food and beverage servers customer service representative other customer and information services representative machinists tool and die makers if you find your occupation on this list here this is what you need to do you have to have a photo page of your current passport visa of your current country of legal residence required if your country if your current country of legal residence is not your country of citizenship your language test results your eca report your cv is optional your spouse's cv is optional and a current driver's license and this is where you click to register your details so first name last name email confirm your email address and then um, select the event that you're interested in attending and click on the next button for the information session if you click on sign up you will find details of the occupations that they will be providing information on and they are finance sales restaurant services information technology there are about nine occupations under it that they will be providing information for and the requirements are still the same your photo page of your current passport the visa of your current country of legal residence your language test results your eca your cv and your spouse's cv and complete the form that is here for the information session for ivory coast they are still looking for the same occupation and the details are the same go ahead and apply if your occupation is on this list nurse aid cook food and beverage server customer service representative other customer and information services representative machinists tool and die makers for the information session they are still looking for the same category of occupations under finance sales restaurant services information technology and the details are the same for senegal they are looking for almost the same thing which is nurse aid cooks food and beverage servers customer service representative other customer and information services representative machinists tool and die makers and the requirements is still the same for the information session as well the requirements are the same so you just um check if your occupation is listed there go ahead and apply and um, just keep your fingers crossed they might invite you to attend the information session after attending the information session and you get a job offer then you can come to this same page again and click on skilled worker stream program and you will find the guide it is important you take a look at the guide so that you have an idea of what is required you can also use this inb user guide as well and you have to register on the inb portal and when you click on the inb portal this is where it takes you to you click on register and you fill your details and upload any necessary forms that you need to upload thank you so much for watching and see you in my next video please before i go keep the world in your prayers um, there's so much anxiety and tension right now just keep the world in your prayers i don't know what's going on but keep the world in your prayers and see you in my next video bye bye